do re mi ah. Okay. <laughs> now that I've warmed up, now that my voice is warmed up, um, I just wanted to um, hop up on here because it is um, World Mental Health Day. And if there is any, any fucking day that I got something to say, it is World Mental Health Day. All right, I feel like I have a, some, a unique set of experiences that are qualifying me to talk about this shit. I, mainly my motherfucking life. Um, I would say happy, happy like World Mental Health Day. Is that what people say? I mean, would you say that really? Because I mean, none of us are actually happy, but um, <laughs> I'm sorry, bad joke, bad joke, bad, too soon, sorry. But in any case, it is World Mental Health Day, October 10th, and um, I just wanted to say something seriously. Um, to all of my folks that are dealing with mental health issues of any sort, whether it be your whole life or something situational occurred that has like triggered, you know, some something that you're dealing with. Um, I just want to send you love. And I also wanted to share something that I made a point to do today that's been helpful for me. So today, I, I don't know why, maybe because I woke up not feeling that awesome, <laughs> but I, I made a point to do something purely, purely for myself at the top of my day. So this morning, the thing that I wanted to do was sit in my tub, like have a long, nice bath with lavender and peppermint oil and bath salts and a candle burning and just chill the fuck out and just soak while watching like a show on Netflix. Is it Netflix? Hulu. While watching a show on my fucking computer. That to me was purely to ease me because being in water is so comforting to me, whether it's in my bathtub or the ocean or lake or anything. So that's something, and it might be really super small, but it's a big deal to me to just take that time to be like, yo, just, this is just for you. This is just for you. And that's something that I wanted to share with y'all. Like, I know that we all have super duper busy, complex lives. And when you add to that people who are dealing with huge amounts of stress or trauma or PTSD or depression or anxiety or a whole, bu a whole bunch of other things, like it can be really hard to just make that fucking time to breathe. And it seems really small, but if you go day after day, week after week, month after month, month, rushing, 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 not making time for yourself, it's really easy to break down. It's really easy for life to stress you the fuck out to the point of almost like crisis um, or crisis, you know? So I wanted to share that. Um, also, I wanted to say, I feel like people, people definitely differentiate mental health and physical health, which makes no sense to me because you, it's just health. You are a person. You have health. You know, and there's dis different aspects of your health, but your spiritual health, your emotional health, like your physical health impact your mental health. Your mental health impacts your spiritual health. Like everything is impacting each other. So it's really weird to separate them out. However, there is a lot of sig stigma that is attached to mental health and mental health issues. And so it is important to have a day, more than a day, but we should constantly remind ourselves the importance of being tender with ourselves and with those around us. Please do not take the people in your life for granted. Please check on each other. Please check on yourself. Um, and it, I know it can be really hard. I know for me, like dealing with stigma as a Nigerian, like in like, just some of the way, like, I feel like if I were to talk, like seriously talk to my family about my experiences with depression, that I'll, what would come up is like, pray. <laughs> Prayer is not that serious and da 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 da. And you would never say that to somebody who like got into a fucking car accident and was bleeding. You wouldn't be like, oh, let's just, let's just sit here and fucking pray about it. Nigga, you're gonna call a fucking ambulance. You're gonna try to stop the bleeding. All right, I mean, yes, pray as well, but we're also gonna get some medical professionals in here to fucking help you, right? So it's the same thing with mental health. There are people who are literally trained to help and support you through dealing with things. And I just want to send my love out to people um, who are dealing with just horrendous amounts of pain. I know a lot of people don't talk about it, like <clears throat> myself included. I don't always talk about things. Um, <laughs> and I'm working on that. So I just want, I really am. I really am working on that. Um, my friends can attest to that. <laughs> um, so I, I want to encourage y'all, if you're going through something, please talk to somebody, please text somebody, like somebody who you know cares about you. Like it might be small, but just try, you know, I know it can be so overwhelming to be like, oh, 
you know you feel some way it's so like hard it's hard to talk about it but please try to please do your health your mental health matters it, your life isn't just what you can accomplish and what you do and what school you went to what degrees you have what money you make your life is also how you feel how you feel and it's important to not just run from the shit that stressed you out as a kid or as an adult and to think it's gonna go away. It's not gonna go away because you ignore it. It's not gonna go away because you drink a lot. It's not gonna go away because you run from your emotions in drugs, you know? And listen, I'm not here to shade anybody with how they cope with their fucking feelings. That's number one, okay? I'm not here to shade or judge anybody and how they deal with their pain. All I'm going to say is please find a way to lovingly deal with it if you have you know, the resources to um, seek, you know, professional help with a therapist or psychiatrist or psychologist, please do. It might be as simple as going to the beach and chilling out and just breathing and turning off your phone for a moment, you know, like, and just being with the ocean. Um, it might be like playing cards with your friends, whatever, <laughs> you know, like whatever it is that you need for yourself. Like I encourage you to find it and explore it and to, um, to cultivate um, a community of people who love you and appreciate you and are there for you and will listen to you and won't judge you, even if you're going through something really difficult and challenging. Um, so happy World Mental Health Day. I don't know how to, I don't know what to, I don't know what to say. <laughs> but um, I wanna send you my love. I wanna send you my compassion. I wanna send you my empathy. I know so many people are going through things that they don't even know how to put words on onto like I go I'm going through things that I don't know how to put words onto and I'm a writer like I've been writing for like I've been writing my basically my whole life like the vast majority of my life I've been writing you know um so I I just want to say that I'm sending you love um and I'm just sending you love I feel you <laughs> oh my god I get emotional but um I feel you and I honor you and Please take time for yourself and your own personal healing today and every day. And um, please extend as much grace and compassion as you can to those around you who are going through things that you may never ever fucking know or understand because it's real. It's really real out there. Like niggas is really motherfucking suffering. Some of us are going through a lot of shit. Um, so I just want to send you tenderness in the midst of it all and I don't know. Aren't my nails so pretty? These are the things that cheer me the fuck up. Like, I'll be sad. I'll be like, God damn, shit is mad fucking depressing. And I'll look, I'll look at my nails and be like, but aren't my nails so gorgeous though? <laughs> we all cope in different ways. But in any case, have a beautiful fucking day. Um, feel free to share this video and drop your notes down, um, your comments down below and let me know some of your, like, whatever methods you might have in terms of taking care of your mental health. Um, I, I really am curious for very selfish reasons, but also other people can look and, and hopefully be inspired as well. Um, yeah, I hope you're having a beautiful day. Mwah.